So this is going to be super fucking ghetto. Um, I've got a Pentium 4 at 1.8 uh, 1 gigahertz. And uh, I'm going to be deleting it because I bought like 6 CPUs the other day for about 20 Australian dollars, uh, about 13 US I think that equates to. Um, and I primarily bought them for the sake of deleting, so I'm going to, well I don't have the one that I've already done behind me, but it looks a little... I mean, aside from, like, thermal paste there, pretty much, aside from, like, thermal paste around the end, uh, edges, uh, they look fine, I guess. I don't know if that, that missing capacitor or uh, SMD there, I don't know if that's, like, actually supposed to be missing or what, but, um, yeah, looks fine, I think, I guess. I don't actually know. Uh, I've never actually used a, um, I've never used a fucking, uh, oh, there's a little, little bit of water on here. Uh, yeah, no, I've, I've never really used a, uh, Pentium 4 computer, so I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be, so I'm gonna try not to fucking bend any of these pins, but honestly... <laughs> I'm not gonna test them. I don't know if they're soldered. I can't be bothered looking it up on fucking Google or Bing or anything. Well, Bing. Yeah, nice joke. Um, yeah, I don't know how. Oh, okay. I heard a little bit of a pop. So I th these are, are old enough to the point where I think, because I know that it's Gen 2 Intel and prior were usually soldered, and then anything like Gen 3 and beyond, you yeah, have not bent any pins yet to my knowledge, from what I could see from a quick glance. <clears throat> yeah, Gen 3... Gen 3 and beyond were where they started to forego solder until 9. So, to my knowledge, well, for all I know, these could be sold. I think they are. Uh, if they are, then I will uh, probably <laughs> either stick just a soldering iron or something. Like, stick a soldering iron to it and just let it heat up. Uh, or... Who knows? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll just put it on the, on the stove. You know? Maybe I'll just put it in a frying pan on the stove. <laughs> and just let, let that heat it up. Because... I'm pr surprised I haven't cut my fucking fingers open yet. Because of my poor handling of a razor blade. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, yeah, I don't know if these are soldered. I, in hindsight, I could look it up on Google and probably find some like Tom's Hardware or an Anand Tech, Anand Tech, whatever. Um, probably find an article from either a, like an older website. Uh, am I scratching the fucking PCB? Or am I just scratching thermal paste off? Oh, it's thermal paste. Fuck's sake. I was, I was really fucking confused because it's just... Is this silver there where I've been sort of trying to do it? But I think my well, best... Yeah, thermal paste. No, that's going to be on my fucking finger forever. Because, oh boy, thermal paste. Uh, okay. Oh, shit. Okay, that... that um, I think... Yeah, I kind of want to say these are solid. So I might bring a... I don't know. I'll, I'll see how uh, my soldering iron goes to heat up the... Just sort of stick it there and just sort of have it chill in there. It's kind of why I have these there. You know? Um, heat sinks over there were from, <laughs> from a... Uh, 
motherboard I bought for like 10 bucks that the dude said was faulty and uh, 10 Australian so like he, he, he gave me 500 US because haha Australian dollar is fucking abysmal um, but yeah he he uh, yeah, he he was selling it because it was uh, to him to his knowledge it was faulty, uh, and then from the pictures at least he said it was like uh, oh yeah from the pictures it showed that it was like what well, it needed like a CMOS battery, and uh, I don't have a functioning GPU aside from the one in my current in my main computer so I don't really want to like. Tests. I want, I don't really want to like take my GPU out. <sighs> Had a bit of adhesive on my finger, or the uh, bit of gasket. Um, but yeah, I don't. I didn't really want to like so like take my uh, my GPU out of my computer uh, to sort of test whether the motherboard was. Or whether the uh, motherboard and CPU were working, because I had, I already had a CPU, and E, I think it's a seventy five hundred. Um, I it had no display outs on the motherboard, so I'm like, okay, uh, ooh, I don't know how well it shows, but there's a considerable gap in there that kind of makes me think it's not soldered. At the same time, I... Mmm... Yeah, it looks like it's not solid. I'm going to... Oh, Jesus, okay, yeah, that was... Oh, that's a, that's a lot of thermal paste, fucking hell. Uh... Yeah, so, uh... What is this, the... Uh, identifier? is uh, identifier is a also I'm I have a torch identifier is a SL68Q Intel Pentium 4 I think that says 1.8 gigahertz uh, yeah I'm gonna quickly look that up Well, I ended up, uh, I, I guess, successfully deleting. I don't know if you would say successfully or not, uh, but it's a, yeah, on, on the IHS, it's a SL68Q uh, B0 stepping Pentium 4 at 1.8 gigahertz, 400 megahertz bus clock, 1.5 volts, uh, 512 kilobyte lithography, uh, what the fuck, 512 kilobyte level 2 cache. I have no clue why I said lithography. Uh, 130 nanometer or 0.13 micrometer? Micron? Uh, lithography. Single core uh, on the PGA478 socket. Uh, it's on, yeah, again, aside from the what, what they have in the wiki, on the, I think it was wiki chip, wiki chips, whatever. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's kind of shit by today's standards.